episode 81. We moving up, moving yeah. up. Yes, yeah, sir, Ski. Oh, yeah, we got a special guest in the building, man. We got a uh, rapper, producer, amazing. My boy. What's good with you, bud? Great. Man, Great. appreciate you coming again, man. You know what I'm saying? Me We've too. been talking about this for a little minute. Yeah. Finally got to happen this shit, dog. Yeah, finally, man, you know. Had yeah. to pull up one time, show some love, see what's going on up in here. Oh, yeah, for sure. Have you ever been on podcast before? Uh, no, this probably be the first time for real, for I believe, yeah. This oh, yeah, first yeah. time for sure. You about to be famous after this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right at the right time, yeah. For sure. Now, man, we always start off with the same shit. Salute me while I'm here. Yeah. Give your flowers to somebody that can still smell them and not wait for somebody to pass away. Right. But it can't be nobody in your immediate circle, like mom, dad, yeah. brothers, sisters. If you got kids or a lady, it can't be them. It got to be somebody outside the box. Um, get the flowers to somebody that, that need them. Yeah, somebody that you appreciate, whatever, dog. Damn, man. Uh, it's a lot of people, man. I don't want to really leave nobody out, man. Especially yeah. like not family, because it it really would be, you know, what I'm saying, my immediate red, my OG, man. She been holding it down for a minute, bro. For like, sure. She she the reason why I was able to provide things for other people. Yeah, 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 for sure. So you saying who your, you you gonna shout out your whole family, all everybody? Yeah, everybody, man. Shout out to everybody. You know you is. You know what I'm saying you. People yeah. watching everybody, bro. Hell Whoever. yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, niggas do be feeling bad like damn, I forgot about time. Yeah, shit. yeah. <laughs> Gonna get blocked. Hell Gonna get blocked yeah. by twenty people. Hell yeah. <laughs> shit, I ain't got nobody, dog. Yeah. I, like I said, nigga, we on episode eighty one, dog. Like yeah. I been salute my ass off, bro. Yeah. I'm just gonna salute niggas like we said, dog. Niggas who just who just working. Yeah. Salute, uh, salute niggas who uh, who feel like nigga they time ain't came yet dog just just shit, just keep it keep it going absolutely keep it moving and shit sooner or later nigga your race just ain't some people race is different yeah you know what I'm saying some people shit gonna start off quick some shit gonna be you gonna slow bob it nigga. I'm like, trying to tell you I'm, I'm one of them I was in the turtle the turtle race man <laughs> yeah some niggas gonna be that bitch crawling and they gonna they fucking knees like <laughs> pause like, niggas gonna be word <laughs> word as long as you get there man hell yeah no matter yeah. what time it is dog. But shit, man, tell me about how it was, man. Yeah, it's a little mm. hot dog. Oh, no, I'm bitch. I, I was a little oily. Oh, yeah. 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 Tell me how it was, man, when you was a young Demazin, man. How it was, where you from, mm. who was in the crib and shit like that. Okay, uh, young Demazin, man, it was me, and, uh, three other siblings, and my OG, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it, was, it was us, us. I had three brothers. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And shoot, there was just, it was a lot of music around. You know yeah. what I'm saying? My uncles and them and my grandparents lived across the street. Mm -hmm. So you know, it was just it was just a real musical influence type of environment. I come outside, man. All the hottest records playing the '90s songs. You know what I'm saying? The '90s records. So yeah, that's yeah. all it really. You know that type of time. Yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying? Yeah, 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 playing a lot of video games, yeah, hooping yeah. a lot. Yeah. yeah. What, 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 what? What was the first system you got, dog? That you can remember, dog? Sega Genesis. Oh, I remember like classic. yesterday. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I remember like yesterday, man. I was too happy. What was them go-to games, dog? Sonic, Mortal Kombat, yeah. it's Street Fighter, yeah. and I, them the ones I remember for sure offhand yeah. a lot. Yeah, Kamashi was NBA Jam. Bro. Ah, NBA Jam. I forgot about <laughs> nigga, that. I remember I stole my nigga uh, <laughs> Antoine NBA Jam. Dog. Yeah, that game got <laughs> stole a lot. No, but with the Sonic, <laughs> niggas don't be understanding how you used to be able to connect that bitch to yeah. Sonic and Knuckles. Yeah. You connect Sonic 2 and shit, dog. Yeah. You put that bitch on, it's open up top and connect that bitch, dog. I used to try to figure that out, but I never could find <laughs> out. I'm like, what is it? How do you make this happen? I yeah. never found out. Yeah, man. Matter of fact, my last good Christmas, bro. Talk about your last good Christmas. My last good Christmas, I got the Sega Dreamcast. Okay, yeah, that was That's lit. when 2K first came yeah. out, dog. What was your, your last one you remember? And then your mom was like, shit, you too old to get shit. Uh, man, it was the PS2 for sure. Yeah. I literally got it. My dad came through. He su he surprised me. I thought he wasn't coming through. He was like <laughs> 3 in the morning. He pulled up with it. I'm like, wow. Hell yeah. Clutch. Hell yeah. I ain't go to sleep. Dog. You couldn't, nigga. That was that day you couldn't go to sleep, bro. Yeah. It's two days I couldn't go to sleep, nigga. Yeah. Christmas Eve, going to Christmas. And the first day of school when I knew I had some gear for right. that shit. Cause like a lot of times I ain't had no bad school gear. Right. Like my mom, I was one of them niggas that had to wait two weeks later. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I know what that's like. I'm knowing, yeah, yeah. I'm knowing what that's like. But when I had, actually had like a fit for the next day, oh shit. Yeah. I couldn't wait I couldn't wait to wear that shit though. Yeah, I'm telling you you couldn't go to sleep. Hell wait, yeah. Up all night. So you say you was uh you mm -hmm. was in the hoops? Yeah. Yep. Was you into a heavy like? Uh yeah, I wanted to go to the NBA, man. That's all I thought about when I was younger. Like everybody else wanted to be a firefighter, everybody kept saying police. You know the, the generic ones. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, I want to hoop for real, for real. So yeah. and, I, and it's kind of in my genes and stuff. My pops hooped for school. My sister did too. She went to college for it. So okay, okay. It's just would mm -hmm. you hoop or like would you would you good good? Like, oh yeah, most definitely. You still be balling? Yep. Yeah. So was that something like back then, like 
before the music and shit, was that something you was passionate about? Yeah, I was real passionate, man. I was real passionate about basketball. Like, I just knew I was going to go, but it, I ran into trouble when I started getting into school. It was like the, the academic things and stuff. It was a lot of violence and stuff going on, a lot of drug usage. Yeah. And I couldn't afford to really, like, I guess they couldn't afford to put me, like, in a real good school yeah, where I could have yeah. really flourished. It was like, when I went to school, they was smoking cigarettes as soon as I'm walking <laughs> in. I was never yeah. exposed to that type of yeah. weed. Yeah. Somebody just got stabbed earlier, like yeah. Yeah, like you know. I'm like, ah, this ain't gonna work. See, what part, man, wait, what part of town are you from? East, West, West Side. All right, where? At? Joy Road. Okay, yeah, you over there, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we from the East. We, I guess it's probably like a little shit. You probably think like on the East is probably crazy. We, man, all West. my life, I, that's what I heard. You <laughs> feel me? That's what we heard. Cause when we say Joy Road, I think about the murder mat. Yeah. <laughs> you know yep. what I'm saying? Yeah. niggas be over here. See, my thing is this, dog. East. And West, it's both fucked up. Yeah, like, it's both dangerous ass parts, dog. For sure. But I be super scared when I'm on the West side of the gas station, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> man, it just don't look right. It don't feel right either. Hell Every yeah. time. Hell yeah. What uh, what school you had? Was you going to? Uh, McKenzie High School. McKenzie. Okay, okay. Yeah. So like, was the grades? Was your grades like on some good shit until you got to high school? Or? Yeah, right. Basically, yep. Yeah. Because there was so many distractions and stuff. I didn't understand. Like, I'm like, damn, what's going on? Like, I couldn't process. Cause when I was in my neighborhood, like, I kept myself guarded from yeah. certain things. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But when I was around there, it's like I couldn't be guarded yeah, yeah. from what I didn't feel like was good, good energy. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Cause then at first day of school, you like, damn, you, the hoes and got thicker and y'all dog. Man, they they <laughs> hitting on me every day. They, oh, you look good. They trying to take me in the bathroom. I'm like, y'all do that? Like, I ain't even know. You feel me? <laughs> This is a whole nother world, bro. Mm -hmm. But nigga, world. it's even different now, bro, because I coach. And these little motherfuckers knocking girls down in seventh grade. Like, yes. I was only dreaming of that shit, dog. Yes. Like, yes. these niggas doing that shit. Yeah, like, now that I think about it, probably was when I was in school. So I just ain't know. <laughs> just ain't know what's going down. <laughs> well, shit, man, to go back to uh, the crib, man, a lot of times we mm -hmm. get our... You said music was playing. Yeah. A lot of times you get your influences from the people around you. Right. Before you even get your own ear for the music. Bingo. So who are some people that you was fucking with just off your mom, your dad, or your or your siblings and shit? Uh, I'd probably say my OG. She used to play a lot of music. That was cool. But actually, people that was actually doing music was yeah. like my uncle. Like, he played the guitar, like, a lot. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He always had music playing, and he, a song he just made. Yeah. And sometimes he had a go-to song, too, that he would always play. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it just was me seeing him play the guitar. It was like, it was a heavy influence. And my uh, older brother and stuff, they was messing with music for a little bit. But, yeah. you know, I don't, you know, you know yeah. how that go. You got any artists that, like, that stood, stood out that they was fucking with? Uh, like your mom or like when she cooking pancakes or something. Oh like, yeah, Luther. Yeah. Shoot. Um, uh, they love Aretha a lot, man. Yeah, There's a lot yeah, of people. Sure. But I personally took uh, to Anita. I, I like Anita a lot. My mom ain't really like listen to her. Yeah. But I like Anita. Hey, yeah, uh, Sade too. Sade. Told this nigga, dog. Told this nigga, man. He be hating on Sade, dog. Yeah, Sade had some hard beats, man. Like, dog. Dog. Yeah, I wish I could sing it right now. I sing, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shit. Dog. He said about his suicide music, dog. Uh, <laughs> Sade yeah. was tough, dog. Yeah. She was hard in mud. I so, agree. So, shit, man, give me this, dog. Mm. Like, give me a song or an album, dog. Yeah. Every time you hear it, it take you back to a time, dog. Like, man. every fucking time you hear it, you just think about. Yo, nigga, school or outside or whatever. I'm going to say that Kanye West joint, man, when he was, uh, that last track, when he was talking about, it was like long-ass track about how he was making music for, like, Jay-Z and how they was telling him oh, don't yeah. rap yeah. that album. Like, every yeah. time I hear that, it put me in a certain space. Hell yeah. Like, you know, like, like when you was thinking about creating and shit yes, like that? Yes, yes. That's when I was, like, in, with just getting started creating music, actually. Like, yeah. when I started creating, I, was, I got wind of that album around the same time. Yeah. Shit, man, what, uh, we was talking about this shit, me and my cousin, bro. Mm -hmm. Out of those three albums, the first one was, what, College Dropout. Yeah. Uh, then you had, what, Late Registration and Graduation. Mm -hmm. And out of those three, dog, which one you think is his, is his hardest project? Which one was the one that uh, had that song in there I was talking about? I forgot uh, that, was the, that was uh, that was College Dropout, yeah, the first Yeah, College Dropout, yep, that's the yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, Because at first I said Graduation, then I went back and listened to that shit. Because he had that, my favorite song was that Through the Wire. Yeah, Like yeah, That yeah, nigga was yeah. going, dog. Yeah. Man, and this nigga been talking about dropping an album for the longest, nigga. Like, yeah. for the last three weeks, that nigga supposed to drop on Fridays. Yeah, man, I, I didn't know him. And Drake had a little thing going on. I feel like that's probably what he waiting on. He yeah, niggas trying to waiting, yeah. yeah, niggas waiting, like, when Same he gonna day. drop? Hell yeah. Shit, who you think gonna fuck around had a... Man, the buzz is so crazy, bro. Like, yeah. I really, I tried to try to pick one, but I'm yeah. like, it's gonna be so crazy yeah. to where it, it might. I don't know. I can't even call it. I think Drake got that uh, what that certified lover boy. Yeah. And then <laughs> wasn't got that uh, Don Dun shit. I don't know, yeah. dog. Like, I fuck with Kanye, man, but I think Drake probably gonna go. Crazy. I mean, of course, I think Drake probably gonna sell more. Yeah. Just cause it's Drake. Right. Like, but with Drake, I be wanting that nigga to come out with a straight rap album, bro. Yeah. This an album, nigga, like, just to show that he can spit. Just straight, bro. Yeah, that will be fire. Because yeah. he pretty dope on that side. Hell yeah. What's the uh, what's the first CD, dog, you purchased or you stole? 
uh, <laughs> it was the the Jeezy tra trap trap. Was that one? But uh, trap, trap or die? Yeah, I think it was that. Or one. or um or the. Cause trap. that was the mixtape, I think. That was the first mixtape he had. It was like a mixtape. It wasn't yeah. like an album. Yeah, 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 was, yeah, yeah. That's the first CD. Like I wasn't even listening to rap like that. I was like, I listen to classical music a lot. Yeah. So this is like the first CD I actually bought. Yeah. And paid for. It was it was a burnt CD, but I still <laughs> yeah, paid for. Yeah, for no, for sure. I Everybody for had the bootleg yeah, man, yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. That's Maybe the it's first one. Stole three for tens and shit. I'm trying to tell you, man. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. Uh -huh. But no. Nah, Dog, I have been telling these, these niggas, dog. The first one I bought was that uh, Usher, dog. The first okay. Usher shit. It was bootleg. Yeah. It was at a store, though. They sold bootleg <laughs> CDs at the store and shit, yeah. dog. And yeah. It was that motherfucker, uh, You Remind Me. Okay. Nigga, I was on that shit heavy, dog. Yeah, that's heat. Heavy as hell. So, shit, uh, mm -hmm. you was talking about, like, you know what I'm saying? People you listen to based yeah. off your moms and shit and your uncle yeah. and stuff like that. Like, once you got your own ear for music outside of Jeezy, who was some artists you was fucking with? Uh, outside of them, it was Kanye, Lil Wayne, um, Jeezy, Kanye, Wayne, Jeezy. That was kind of like my thing right there. Yeah. I, that was really it. That yeah. was really it. Uh, all the music that they dropped, I would listen to. And then after that, we got to like J. Cole's and, you know, so forth and stuff like that. Yeah, but see, I miss the old Wayne, bro. Like, yeah, the old Wayne is the one I was listening to. Like, the Carter 2, yeah, 3, man, man I, it had me in a different zone. Yeah, it's like after Carter 3, it's just like, dog, like, what I don't happened, know what bro? what happened after that. Niggas, Dre started falling off, yeah. dog. Like, I can't even tell you it was that money, man. He was like, man, skip this shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. All you know, that money was tied up. Bro, his, his voice changed. Everything about him was, mm -hmm. nigga, the way he dressed. Cause remember back then, he was dressed like a New York nigga. Exactly. He had the vaping ape and shit, yeah. dog. Like, nigga was looking like a fly New York nigga. He was feeling good. Now, now nigga dressing like motherfucking old ass Hattie Mae and shit, dog. Oh, like, man, yeah, he, he he got sunk down into a deep space, a bad space, man, when all that money got tied up, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And by the time he recovered from that, he was already yeah. where he was at. Hell yeah, hell where yeah. Where we see him now, so. Nigga, uh, do a, uh, I've been talking about this in the last couple episodes, bro. I really want to know your opinion. Yeah. Do a, uh, you know, because you, you, you know a lot about somebody from the music they listen to, dog. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 okay. You can tell how a nigga is. Yeah, you, facts. You, yeah, facts. Can a, can a girl music selection be a red flag, dog? Oh, yeah, man. It was a red flag <laughs> to me, for sure. Like, I remember I was chilling with a chick, man. She threw on a music video, and this chick was, like, covered in blood and talking about her ex-dude and how she just was hurt and yeah. so scarred. And I'm like, bro, you got to be sick and twisted to listen <laughs> to certain music. And it told me a lot about this person. They was, like, wearing all black. Then she went to another song. Yeah. It was creepy. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, she wanted a motherfucker. She might fight. cut me. Yeah, or herself, nigga, yeah, in front she, of you. Yeah, or, or me. So, <laughs> yeah, I had that. Well, I said that uh, if, a, if a chick know all Gucci Man 2007 songs. Oh, man, I forgot about them. Pulling like, up, listening to Sada all day, yeah, all that. Yeah. Hey, you gotta be, we gotta watch them, bro. Like, she's if, fine as hell, but she banging the, the hardest, <laughs> most gangsters music. Yeah, especially, like, if it's all the time, bro. Then that's that. If it's like, all right, duh, I, we know you for the streets. Now, if it's like, yeah, all right, so. sometimes I'm begging Gucci, sometimes I'm begging Ania Baker or some shit, or I'm, I'm going back and forth. All right, cool. But if that's yeah. constantly what you playing, though, like, I remember chicks pulling up banging um <laughs> mixes, like that Ron Bustos, that, that Jitten songs. Like, fuck, you got a whole man, yeah. a real mix in your motherfucking car, though. <laughs> but yeah, you got to be careful, mu niggas' musical selection. And it's pressure for a dude. When you're in the car with niggas and you get the motherfucking the uh the auxiliary cord. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And you gotta make sure you play the right song, yeah, dog. Yeah, the pressure be on you for sure. <laughs> Especially with some thug ass niggas, you gotta play the right <laughs> shit, dog. Like, damn, I wanna fail I'm these niggas. I'm trying to tell you, man. Dudes done played the wrong song too many times in the whip. You wanna give me that cord back, bro? <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yo, they bro. try to throw their weak mixtape on that they just drop it be trash, don't be mixed and mastered. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> You hear, you, in, for that too. you hear niggas in the back talking and shit, dog. <laughs> dog, that shit funny as hell. Oh, hey, man, man. Give, give me a hot ready, nigga. <laughs> All in the back Fact. of your shit, dog. Hilarious. When that shit come on, you, hear, you you over talking that shit so niggas won't hear it. <laughs> dog, so yeah. uh, after you graduated high school, dog, was college in the picture or you was just like? Man, I actually didn't graduate high school, man. Okay. I dropped out on, like, the, on my way to 11th grade. I made my choice. I was like, I had just started making beats at that time. Yeah. I was like, I'm just going to take this serious. I'm not finna hoop. I'm not trying to waste no time with this school. Stuff it ain't working. Yeah. I was like, I may be catch on on stuff with that later. You yeah, hell so, yeah. That's so, what I did. So that, so yeah, dog. That's crazy. You say that because like, I remember my grades was a one while I was hooping. Mm -hmm. But as soon as I transferred, went to a different school, eleventh grade, bro. I didn't make the team because they already had their squad. Yeah. Grades dropped to the motherfucking ground. Yeah, dog. man. That was that, that. Like a lot of people go through that. You know what I'm saying? Be like, damn, man. You know, you get discouraged and stuff after situations like that. And of course, your grades would drop because yeah. your focus ain't even there no more. You yeah, like, yeah. Well, I was doing it for this, and I can't get that. So yeah, it's like, dog, don't care yeah. now. Hell yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Then yeah. You, you probably did you ask somebody in your head like who was mad like dog? What the fuck are you doing? Or man, no, nah, cause uh, actually, like I said, I seen both sides. I seen people who didn't
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was like, that really don't matter. About yeah. that, you gotta have a, a goal. Yeah, you definitely gotta have a goal because if, if you know school ain't for you, it gotta be. You can't say school ain't for you, but then you ain't got no plan. Right. You right, know what I'm saying? Because right. nigga, school ain't for me, but what's for you, nigga? Shit. Right. <laughs> that be the thing. That yeah. was my thing. Yeah, I'm so. in the room chilling and shit, watching motherfucker. Bingo. Steve Harvey show and shit. Bingo. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. Right. Cause man, school. And like you said, niggas can get a diploma, bro, and don't even have, that shit don't even be nothing they work for. You know what I'm saying? Or like yeah. after they got that diploma, you be like, "What you doing?" Shit, I'm at Foot Locker, like, Foot Locker. or I'm working at, at Chrysler. Exactly. But you got this motherfucking this uh this bachelor degree in whatever creative science or some shit. Bingo. You just say motherfucking doing the motherfucking <laughs> shit at Chrysler and shit. Yeah. Sweating, working twelve hours a day. You feel me? And your motherfucking diploma collecting dust, dog. Collecting dust. Hell yeah. I seen it, so that's why, yeah, I was like, yeah, that ain't, that ain't really the thing. Yeah, but shout out to go. shout out to the ones who did do something with y'all shit, man. Absolutely, man. Shout Hell out yeah. to y'all, man. Hell yeah. Y'all made use of that paper. Hopefully y'all paid that student loan shit up. Hopefully. <laughs> By now <laughs> fifteen years, man. <laughs> shit, so what age dog? Like you mm. said you uh you know what I'm saying, you and continue on with school and stuff, like mm. what age was you when you was like, Man, I wanna fuck with this music shit? Like, was it rapping or producing? Which mm. one was the first shit? Uh I think it was rap first. Yeah. It was rap for sure. And yeah. then it got to producing. It was a keyboard laying around in our house. Yeah. And I used to always like try to try to mess with it. Yeah. And every time I played with them, I was like, I, I made decent sound of music. People yeah. around me started like listening, like, nah, they here trying to rap to it. Yeah. So it just kept happening, like little objects. Then my dad, a few years later, brought a big piano to the crib. Yeah. Started playing with that. And then after that, it was an organ from my granddad. So it was always some something coming in with yeah. the keys. Would you teach yourself how to do that shit? Yeah. Like, or you was like, like helping you? No, no for real? just me. Yeah, by yeah. Here. So you was on your motherfucking uh, what's that shit though? Nick Cannon shit though? Yeah, man. <laughs> yep. yep. That's how it all started. And then uh, a kid that my, my brother was dating somebody at the time, and her son saw me playing like just you know playing a song on the radio. He was like, "You know how to make beats?" Yeah. I'm like, "No, I don't know how to make beats. What's that?" And he was like, "Shoot!" And then that's why he put me up on Fruity Loops. Yeah. And that's how it all started. Yeah, Fruity Loops, dog. I ain't Nothing about none of that, bro. Hell I yeah. sold my PS2 that my dad got me. <laughs> yeah. I gave it away for an old computer that my cousin had. Yeah. And that's when I put all that. I was my first computer. The 1998 computer desktop, bro. Hell yeah, start doing that shit, dog. Yeah. Hell yeah, that shit. Man, I wish, dog. I wish I would have got to the producing side, dog. Because, mm -hmm. like, that's where it's at. Because there ain't no... Ain't no age limit, niggas to respect you no matter what it is. As long as you make good sounding, you know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Material and shit like That's that. A fact. So how you come up with your name, bro? Like, and what was some shit, mm -hmm. some earlier names you might have that was like, well, wasn't I, hitting? Man, it's crazy how I came my name. My uh, brother was playing on the, the computer or whatever like that. I was waking up from a nap. I'll never forget. And he <laughs> uh, he had somehow typed his name in there. He had a name. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I didn't say what it was, but he typed it in and the computer said it back. Yeah. And when he said his name, I'm like, damn, I ain't got no name if you're making all these beats and I ain't got no name yet. Mm -hmm. So that's when I was like, I want to make my name personal to my real name yeah. and a word that described me as a person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how I came with Demazing. Okay. Uh, you ain't had nothing before that? Nothing. Oh, yeah. Cause niggas I didn't even think about a name. I'm like, I ain't even, never thought about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. when you first doing music, bro. Was you one of them uh, MySpace dudes, dog? Yeah. Trying to be, be on that shit heavy, yeah, dog. I, I was on there heavy. <laughs> dog, because no. niggas don't know. you. It was no certification on that bitch, so you didn't know you could really be talking to motherfucking Kanye and that. Yeah. Or you'd be talking to Missy and some shit I like. didn't know. I got on that plane a little bit late, man. Like, by the time I figured it out, it, somebody already did it, and then it was a bunch of other people trying to do it, so it was too yeah. late. Yeah. Hell yeah, because, man, social media then is so much different than it is now, bro. Yeah, fact. Like, just think about, I don't know if you got Facebook, but remember, like, back in the day on Facebook, yeah. you got the little the chat session. Yeah. Who online, you could chat with them niggas. Like, yeah. And then, like, with Instagram and shit, like, the way you can use your social media to market yourself is, is crazy, yeah, it's bro. it's crazy. Like, it ain't no excuses. You can you can constantly, like we said, constantly put shit out there constantly. every fucking day. Constantly, man. And that's something I'm just, I'll really probably say this year. Yeah. I really start understanding the power of it and, and the uniqueness of it and the ways you could be, you know, you, you know, use it to your, your own advantage. Yeah, for sure. Because it's different. Every platform right now have a way that you could break it just like soldier boy did with youtube like yeah, yeah. it's a way to do that with everything but it's, you you got to figure that way out yeah and he for sure ain't lying when he was like the first nigga to really show you the digital game with making yeah. money off of music that's a fact because he was on youtube before anybody was on youtube that's for a real fact too you know what i'm saying you know before that niggas was just doing it the regular way niggas just knew how to you know what I'm saying hard copies and shit right. like that but he was the first nigga on youtube type you type in 50 cent Song and Soldier Boy and Soulja shit. Boy. Nigga, you ain't on the motherfucker, dog. You feel me? So, <laughs> a lot of people wouldn't even, that thought didn't even come to their mind to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You got to be unique and be creative. 
Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now you know what I'm saying you said when you wanted to, you know, mm-hmm. start rapping and shit like that. Who was the first person you told? Like, I'm about to do this music shit. Dang, that's crazy. I'm not even sure I remember who I told. Probably it was like my brother, or some my younger brother, probably yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. probably like my OG after that. But something. people like, like, kind of like trying to clown you for that shit. Uh, like, oh, you shouldn't be doing there laughing or then like, nigga, you want to do music? What? I don't know. I think it probably was. Cause I was kind of whack at first. I was trash. <laughs> I ain't gonna say kind of. I was trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, but with that, cause like I said, I gave niggas funny story about me being trash. Yeah. My boy uncle dog told us like y'all ass. Yeah. Usually we, <laughs> yeah, he just told us straight up, nigga, y'all ass, bro. Like yeah. don't even do this shit no more. Yeah. And usually I would have been like, man, fuck, it, I ain't gonna do it. Mm. But I'm like, fuck, it, I'm gonna prove this nigga wrong. Like, yeah. when when did you? Did somebody tell you you was ass or you like you just knew it or like you knew like you had to get better because you listen to different other people? Uh, that's what it was, man. I, I think I had a trained ear. I yeah. must did have a trained because nobody actually physically told me I was trash. Yeah. But, you know, I would study reactions <laughs> really well. I think that was another thing, too. You know what I'm saying? I would notice the difference between when my brothers didn't play their music and then when I would put my song on. <laughs> it's like they were trying to support me. They try to support. You know that. You know that. Yeah. We're going to support them. We're going to nod a little bit, but... <laughs> Niggas on the phone, niggas chilling, niggas while your shit playing, ain't gave you not one type of motherfucking feedback, dog. Nothing. I'm dog. talking about nothing. Man, man, what was the first song you wrote, bro? You remember that? Yes. It was a song called Me and My Fresh Dance. Me, <laughs> oh, you, you was in that dance era, Yes, though. it was in that dance era, man. Yeah. It was popping. I'm like, I'm about to drop me a dance song and get on and get rich, too. <laughs> Did you come up with a dance for it, too? Never. <laughs> No dance was recorded, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> nigga, if it be, go ahead and type in Demazing and nigga see that nigga dancing. That, that song is on private right now on YouTube. <laughs> I took it down. Duh. For real, dog. Now, what was the uh, the beat shit, dog? Like, you said you was m- mm. more so of a rapper at first. Like, when yeah. did you start making beats coming to the to the picture? Uh, 20. Well, I was 16. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but... It was it was somewhere around like I said after I got out of high school and stuff, man. It uh, was around my eleventh grade year. I was yeah. like sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, that's when it happened. Now, what's the difference like as far as like the process, like your approach to uh, I'm about to write this song or your approach to I'm about to make this beat? Like, what's the difference and what's the same though between the two? Mm, the differences between a, making a beat, um, yeah. the process. Damn, how yeah. do I? When I come in, I usually just go and make a beat off how I'm feeling at that time. Mm-hmm. It's it's kind of that's the thing that's the same. The differences. I'm not really sure what the difference is. My writing process even changed up. Like, yeah. I used to write all my songs. Now I didn't got into punching in yeah. because I really I had, like, a, a brain freeze or something or that writer's block for a while. Yeah. But I just noticed that when I sat down and just said what was on my mind, like, it was coming like, yeah. like that. So is it easier, like, to, to do that instead of writing? Because I want to get back to writing. It's easier yeah. to punch in, but, you know, I was more creative and I was able to be more, like, structured, I guess. Well, it's crazy. It yeah. still sounds structured. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Because, man, niggas be, like, punching in. I ain't seen it, dog. You know what I'm saying? We ain't seen famous motherfuckers punching in and be yeah. like, dog. It took that nigga forever in the motherfucking day. Oh yeah, yeah. To do a verse, nigga, like See, that yeah. nigga doing the line coming out. How that sound? A line coming out. How that sound? <laughs> yeah, I like, saw Wayne do that one time on a uh, line, but he was spitting like probably eight bars or sixteen at a time. Yeah, I'm not sure. I never did that. Yeah, it don't take me long to punch in though. I yeah. could probably finish. I finished up a song at L. A. recently, man. Probably like twenty minutes. For real? Thirty minutes. Yeah. Damn, man, damn. I wish I could do some shit like that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it take me a week to do a song. Cause I be doing music. That was the whole background behind the podcast. Is yeah. It was a way to get my music out I believe but mm. then I started doing it I'm like man fuck my music though. Right. I like doing this shit better bro. right 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 you know okay. what I'm saying cause to be an artist that shit hard dog. it like, is it's a lot it take money it take time bro ton of it man you gotta be try to be all over the place dog. like yeah. I, I commend y'all niggas for doing that shit. Cause, I appreciate it, man. Nigga, I've been gay a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like, I do it for fun. Like, if I, mm. when I'm at work, when I'm on my downtime, I'll try to write some shit, though, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I record it. If niggas like it, nigga, whatever, nigga, but it ain't nothing right. I'm trying to pursue now. Right. Because at first, the only reason why I did it because I had a kid on the way. Right. And I thought that was my easiest way to make a million. Fact. So facts, like, facts, facts. So I'm like, I might do a song, nigga, did yeah. a song. I'm still waiting on that million. Yeah, <laughs> back when I started, that was literally why I'm like, man, I'm about to every beat I make with thousand dollars, I start adding them up. I put seventeen beats. I'm like, okay, seventeen times the thousand. <laughs> yeah. I ain't make nothing. I said none of them beats. Ain't none of them get sold. <laughs> man, should be fucked up. We have you all pissed off. Like, damn, sick. You just be having that dream, and you can see it. You can see the picture be in your head, clear as day. Clear bro. as day. Nigga. I'm adding up all the beats and I'm just saying a thousand per and I'm talking about fifty dollars a pop. That's what was reality. Duh. He said a thousand a beat, I'm gonna have seventeen thousand. They came out being fifty dollars a beat. <laughs> Hell dog, my man said that shit. It's crazy you say that shit, though. I had my man from AOA Mafia. Yeah. He said the first beat he made the first beat he sold, mm. he made fifty dollars off of it and thought like, damn, this the shit. Yeah. 
Not knowing, like, nigga, my man about to take that $50 beat and turn that shit into something crazy. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, man. Yeah, that's a fact, too. Duh. Yes, literally. Now, now, studio shit, dog. Like, yeah. what's your, uh, you was talking about how you, you was recording in, in, in Cali. It took 20 minutes and shit, dog. Yeah, yeah. Like, when you in studio, what's your, what's some shit you need? Like, you, some niggas need chicks, drink, weed, for me, uh, a long drink. time. It's drink for me. For yeah. Sure. Yeah, if I got that, I'm Gucci. Like, liquor? Yep. And you can you and you can function. I'm yeah, perfect, <laughs> oh, perfectly shit. fine. Nigga, last time I tried that shit, bro. <laughs> oh man, so it was all bad. I turned from one take J to nigga. Nigga, I might do this shit tomorrow. <laughs> like, yeah, that's typical of rappers. Like a lot of people can't do that. Mm -hmm. They can't. They they got a couple drinks in them. They start slurring. They be like, you know, I'm just come back tomorrow, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now that first time in the studio, dog, how bad was it? My first time in the studio. Damn, I remember too. My first time going to a real studio. I actually had prepared at my house. I dropped that me and my fresh dance at the crib, but we yeah. redid it at a better studio or whatever. Yeah. And uh, it was pretty cool. It was a little nervous, you know what I'm saying? Because I was hearing my voice in the headphones. I wasn't used mm -hmm. to that. Mm -hmm. It was it was crazy. It was a bump up in quality. I actually was recording um with Big with Big Sean and people. And so I yeah. believe it's a uh, a Aton and them. Say oh. Aton, all them. That's oh, what yeah. I was recording. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And so, you say that shit, so it came out straight. Everything? Yeah, yep, yep. I uh, used to bump in the double ways and I'm up there all the time and stuff. So it was a little bit of pressure because yeah. I'm like, I'm around all these people now and they hearing this song. It might be trash. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. that's what it was like. Yeah, it was, it was all like right, that. Now you, uh, I did uh, peep on your YouTube, bro, that you had dropped a project in uh, January. Yes, sir. Uh, what was the name of that uh, project again? Though I forgot to write it. The album or the, uh, the, the song? Album. Oh yeah, it was called Who Was That? Yeah, Who Was That? Mm -hmm. So usually I do a um a top five. Of a, of, of, of a nigga project Then you give me your top five And you tell me why So my top five from that I had put down uh, uh, I'll give you i give you mine mm. uh, Time to uh, No I, I'm saying <laughs> well, I wrote down mm. Time to ball was number one Yeah uh, What kind of man Yeah uh, Live my life Slow motion And the realest Okay So who will be your top five In that On that project Yeah It'll be all good Make a way what kind of man? Mm -hmm. I should have said what kind of man first, cause that's like my favorite song there. But yeah. I, those three, I'm cooking, and uh, what's that last one? Where? Dang, who was that? The, okay. the title of the mixtape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now uh, with that one, like, what was your uh? Cause that was earlier this year and shit. Yep. Was it? Uh, so would you like trying to put it out? Damn, so that kind of like fucked up your rollout Cause right after that, nigga, Corona hit Yeah, exactly <laughs> So speaking of that yeah. I had a song that got put on the NBA in 2020 um, And and that's what actually messed up Like, I think February the Corona came out uh -huh. So I had a promotion from the NBA And they blowing my song up They blowing my inst my Instagram going up, my YouTube Damn, And then bro. a month later, Corona yeah. Damn So they was going to place it like on like It was like, like the... Uh, 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 halftime or like going yeah. commercial break or like what it was I woke up um I was actually it was a uh, New Year's Eve I was chilling at the crib with my peoples and stuff and at like midnight my cuz I was coming up the stairs he was like cuz I'm like what's going on he was like dog come look at this I looked at it and it was my song playing on Facebook it had like a million or two million views mm -hmm. so that's how I discovered it was I didn't even know it was being played mm -hmm. so they posted on Instagram Twitter and Facebook and that's how it was yeah I mean you say that that whole virus shit fucked that whole shit up yeah a month later yeah, yeah. because like they was tagging me like every two three days on Twitter and everything and everybody like whose song is that what's the song yeah so and I went on Google I typed in DA to type my name in as soon as I put DA it was like the amazing vibe song or the amazing NBA song I'm like damn I should train in Loki yeah <laughs> but that's some shit like by them using it was that some shit that they they, they had to pay you for or yeah I got paid like by them blasting out to the world the streams just went up so okay. I got paid off the stream oh shit hell yeah that's what's up dog. Yeah. that's what's up so you say with the project that whole rollout it kind of like changed up because like i said the, the corona shit happened you yeah, can't really sir. promote it heavy because yeah. then at that time niggas scared to come outside for exactly. real exactly so you can't do no shows so nobody think about no music we think about staying alive <laughs> hell yeah so Nigga. it just put a whole it just shut everything down man so with that going on did like was the response like wasn't what you wanted or like did you still get good feedback from it i, I did but again it didn't go to the capacity it was about to you know what i'm saying in terms of where things could have went because january that's still early in the season hell we still yeah. got the playoffs Hell yeah, we still got sure. the finals like yeah. I was man who knows what was gonna happen hell so yeah. that's all I thought about I'm like man I just gotta get back to work man get another moment so hell yeah for sure you got any uh, what you working on now as far as like any projects coming up you gonna do something before a year over where you gonna wait till next year yeah I'm gonna drop a project before I'm already a little bit more than halfway done with it yeah. um, with my, my second project okay okay now I got this one junk dog called mm -hmm. uh, talk about the bars yeah like I, I go through some, some of your songs and and then 
talk about bar and we, you know saying you talk about you know saying where we use that during that time and why you do it okay so you got this one say uh, i know i know i ain't quite there yet but it's coming soon and i know i can't stop just yet it's, damn i fucked that whole shit up <laughs> Yeah, that's about right. Oh yeah, and I, I, I know I can't stop just yet. It's coming soon. That's off that mirror, mirror. Mm -hmm. Now with that shit, a lot of niggas, uh, you know, saying a give up because, like we said earlier, they 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 placing a race, ain't coming fast enough. Right. right. Or niggas fucking up. Like, is yeah. that what you was talking about with that shit? Yeah. Like, so it was a time that you was like, was it time that you was like, man, fuck this shit? I'm Absolutely. I'm done. Like before my song got placed on the NBA, I literally was talking to my OG about like quitting completely and just going to get a job because I'm like, I feel like I was wasting time. And I ain't want to waste. I'm the type of person I don't want to waste no time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I don't know where things gonna lead if I do. Yeah. So I was, and literally, man, not even three weeks later. Yeah. So it was just me reflecting on that moment right there. It was like, man, that didn't happen for nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't nobody, yeah. you know, everybody don't make it to the NBA independent, bro. Like, no, for sure. I don't even know if that happened to Detroit. Yeah, ever. yeah, hell yeah, man. Now this one shit was funny. I just thought about some shit. You said rough times in the hood. They were sipping on extra smooth. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's on the mirror, mirror too. And I yeah. remember. Them rough times, nigga. You ain't got no money for real. Me and my nigga Weez getting that motherfucking Seagram Gym 102. <laughs> and, and, and nigga get drunk as fuck off a of fifth, and nigga. That, that fifth probably $12, dog. I'm trying to tell you. The whole gang <laughs> sipping the night. Fifth. Duh. Yeah. Hey, hey, that was some shit you was drinking? Yeah. Oh, definitely fifth off of uh, some cranberry juice. We act like it was man. I'm telling you, we did. We made it work. Duh. We made it work, bro. Hell yeah, cause we what I do was, bro. We'd go downtown, nigga, to the club San Andrews or Plan B or whatever it was, yeah. and I get a little uh, ever fresh orange juice. Drink that bitch to like that much. Oh yeah, you knew the perfect measurement. Put them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As we're smoothing here. Shake that bitch up, yeah. drink it from the store ride all the way to the motherfucking other uh, club. Yes, sir. Nigga, by the time you got that bitch, it's a wrap. Yes, sir. Nigga. And what's so crazy, man, we got hip to that. We weren't even supposed to be drinking. We like 17, 18 oh, drinking shit. this move. So <laughs> we just bad as hell, man. No, so that was, that was your first time drinking at that age? Man, I, it was somewhere up on the up in the age. Might have been like 19, yeah. 18, somewhere up in there. Bro, I had my first drink till I was 21 and 11 months, nigga. That's just okay. crazy. But I remember because it was May. Yeah. My birthday June, my nigga Weez was like, they was tired of going out to the club and I wasn't drinking. Yeah. So he like, man, you gotta drink, nigga. It was some motherfucking goose, dog. Mm -hmm. We was having mm -hmm. this super pre corona, nigga. We was necking the goose, nigga. Everybody just yeah, necking the body. I remember the goose. Nigga, I got out the car, nigga. Man, and we was smoking some little weed and I don't smoke. Yeah. Nigga, I, I felt motherfucking so good, dog. Yeah, yeah. I, I got, that was the most numbers I got in my life. I had super confidence, <laughs> you nigga. You saucy, bro. Yeah. Motherfucking smooth and got me smooth, smooth nigga. Head. Yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Lit. So you got another one. You was like, uh, lady, I can't tell if they with me or against me on the marathon. Oh, yeah. Man. So, like, nigga, like, like, a lot of times you don't know who in your circle, bro. Like, That's a fact. you was, what you going through that shit? Absolutely, man. Especially just dropping them videos and people seeing me for real, cause ain't nobody really see me on camera doing nothing. I'm more so just like behind the scenes with the beats, but stepping up, it's like people just I just felt a, a different energy. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. And niggas yeah. be mad cause it, it might be like what you doing it might be something that they want to do. That's true. And they too. just ain't got the motherfucking heart to do it, or they. Niggas be scared of failure and shit. Like, damn, this nigga motherfucking amazing out here doing shit. Yeah. I was just drinking extra smooth with that nigga. Like, you feel me? <laughs> I literally wasn't doing much or nothing, like, for a long time. So to just see somebody just step up like that, like, some people don't, yeah, they be feeling some kind of way. Hell you know? yeah. But yeah. everybody possessed that ability to wake up and just go do something. Yeah, for everybody get the same 24, though. The same 24. Hell yeah. Now on the track, I have something. You said, out here betting on myself, I put my last on it. <laughs> Like, nigga, like, like, talk about that shit, bro. Like, man, I just, like I said, over the course of just the last few years, man, and just grinding and investing in myself, man, I'm like, yeah. you, it's not a lot of handouts. It's not a lot of people doing nothing for you. Not yeah. a lot of co-signs. Like, I literally met everybody it is to meet in Detroit. I know them. They know me. Yeah, hell yeah. Do they post me? Do they shout me out? Do yeah. they support? It's questionable. Yeah, hell yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I was like... I'm investing in myself now. I ain't got it in my mind that I can go where I want to go and yeah, I can make it happen. For sure. For sure. Because sometimes, man, mm -hmm. I be saying that shit, talking to this nigga, dog, with the podcast, bro. Like, I yeah. get more love from niggas I just met or don't even oh, know. Oh, man, that's a fact. That's then, true. Then the motherfuckers that have been riding with me for years, bro, won't post my shit, won't share it. It don't cost nothing, nigga. I be on Freak. Facebook. It be shit that I don't even fuck with, but I still, like... It ain't got nothing to do with me, but I share it. Yeah, me if too. If it's a chick that I know who do nails, I don't, I ain't get my nails done, but I still share it because it might be somebody who's looking for me that too. shit. Me too. You know what I'm saying? I do that all the time. It costs zero dollars and it don't, nigga, it's a one tap, nigga. Literally. 
<laughs> it don't cost man, it don't cost no money, no time. No, nigga, like and you could, you know, what I'm saying, possibly help somebody. And I've done it, and it have helped a lot. Yeah, of people. but in the day, niggas, what niggas be worried about, bro, is that 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 share might turn into that person blowing up. Bingo, and that's my thing. They know that too. <laughs> One wrong share, and I'm out of here, baby. It's Hell over. Yeah. It's still gonna happen, but they know that. Like, they like trying yeah. to prolong it a little bit, like. Uh. Hell yeah, dog. Yeah. So now you got uh the song every season, dog. Yep. Uh, hell of a producer, whatever. Yeah. You said was eating was uh was eating noodles. We was fighting for that last bag. Oh man, nigga, it was, it was tight. Dog, it been times, nigga, that noodles was dinner for for a good I'm a couple you. days, nigga. This one bag on top of that fridge, <laughs> and nobody ate. <laughs> Who gonna get that? Bag? <laughs> hey, dog, that's yeah. it fast, bro. Yeah. What's your go-to noodles, dog? Man, the chicken one, the, the oh, chicken ones, man. The beef, dog. Yeah, it's, it was always a tight fight, but I'm like, man, chicken is just so many ways I could flip it with the seasonings. <laughs> it's more, it's more, more versatile. Yeah, yeah. Cause niggas don't ever just set it with just the seasoning. That's it, oh, dog. No. Oh, niggas no. gotta make some sausages in that bitch. Man, I got like 12 <laughs> seasonings right. I don't even know I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna try to use every one, though. <laughs> Nigga, about to have diabetes. <laughs> Big dog, facts, man. Nigga, but it's one I can't find this bitch in Detroit, dog. I yeah. only had it in Texas. It was a spicy chili. Yeah. Nigga, oh, that yeah, shit yeah, changed yeah, my yeah, life, yeah. bro. That was that was dope. Spicy chili good as fuck, dog. Like yeah. and it wasn't it was kinda good too. Uh it was a spicy uh I think it was a spicy chicken. I was just about to say that. When yeah. I when I tasted that one, that <laughs> became my instant favorite. Hell yeah. Dog, yeah. nigga, niggas would go. Nigga, news made niggas households, nigga, like, for man, real. It last. got us too. It got us too, man. I'm trying to tell Duh. you what I'm talking about. Man, I can't remember. Man, now that I'm talking about it, it was a lot of nice noodles on the stove for dinner, bro. Hell yeah. And we was cool with it. Yeah, for sure, nigga. And then, you so young, at times you young, because I was doing that shit when I was old too. Mm -hmm. But young, you just think that's the normal. Like, was young, shit, that's we, what I'm saying. I'm going to eat these noodles and pop back on the game. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, bro. For sure. Cause I remember on Saturdays, nigga, like, you know it was a struggle. When the food stamps start running out, and you can tell by dinners. Yeah. Like when food stamps first come, nigga, you get <laughs> <laughs> that first oh, day, man. nigga. That first day, you got steak and potatoes, dog. That's a fact, bro. You, know what you knew when the stamps was low, <laughs> judging by what y'all spent to eat, bro. Hey, it's, it's tacos hard. when they first come on, yeah. and it's hot dogs and pork and beans yeah. when they on the way out. Oh bro. yeah, we about to. It, it, it start getting to a sandwich, nigga. Bologna sandwich, like damn. Oh man, yeah, that's when it's really tough, bro. You got the ass of the bread, nigga. Little butt bread, dog. Yes. Like, fuck. Yes, bro. You that's can't when, wait. That's, yeah, when it, when it get to that last slice of bread, you got to use that, bro. That's when it's you fell on yeah, hard time. When, you, you eat chicken thighs, nigga. Like, bitch, oh, like. man. Don't talk about the pinwheels. <laughs> yeah. The pinwheels. Why was you this? Man, I had to walk to the market, grab four, five packs of pinwheels, walk them all the way back to the crib, bro. <laughs> Dog, that's one thing. 20 minutes. I swear to God, I was thinking about that shit, bro. Like, when you growing up, ain't got your mom and dad ain't got no car, and you got to walk them groceries back home. Oh, my goodness, nigga, bro. Nigga, your hands hurt, nigga. Oh you, oh, you got that bitch on a bike, and then you hope that but that bad don't bust, I'm trying to tell you, bro. Duh. You got it. And they was they're driving wild as hell on Joy Rose, so and I'm, I'm ducking and dodging traffic, and I'm trying to, you feel me, get these groceries, so it hell was yeah. tough. Hell yeah, hell yeah, I'd have been there. Man, for sure. Now, with that one, like I said, hell of a... Uh, uh, made that beat, bro. Was that something that you actually worked with him in the studio with, or you just copped the beat? I uh, I hit him up. I called him. Like I said I've been knowing for a lo very long time, man. Yeah. And I just I hit him up because we supposed to be doing music f f way long time before that. You know what I'm saying? After sure. I dropped my uh, the, who is that project? He heard and he was like, man, I want to produce our next project and stuff like that. That was like 2016. Because yeah. I originally dropped who was that a long time ago, but it wasn't mixed properly. It was a lot of you know no yeah, marketing. For sure. So yeah, that's how I came. But I just called him. Was like I'm I'm trying to uh, link up and do a track. So yeah. he was like, I, I just seen you a beat, and that's it. And, I, and the intent was to make a song uh, for the NBA, because like I said, I did one already. I was trying to get yeah. back to it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I was like, sure. I want to put something together for the Hoopers, and yeah. that's what happened. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Hey, hell of a man. I ain't sent you a lot of DMs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Come on through, man. Now, hopefully, we can put that together. Man, I'll reach out to him and see if we can make that happen. Then, oh, yeah, man. for sure, man. If you do that shit, man, hey, you'll be a real nigga in my book forever. My God, man. <laughs> like, that's what we do, man. You hell know yeah, hell that's yeah. That's how we move. So, you say, uh, dog, have you ever heard of my man? Is he from uh, Ann Arbor, dog? He uh -huh. be doing, because you were saying you did uh, doing songs for NBA. Yeah. He worked with an NFL named PL. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm familiar with him. Yeah, PL. Because I remember that nigga used to always be dropping music and, 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 and slinging music, music out of St. Andrews. Yeah. And then, like I said, he got a whole deal. With football in that field, he be his music play on the Thursday night games. Yeah. So I'm like, that's why I'm saying, like, damn, you doing that shit with the NBA? That would have been dope if that's something that could have been playing, like, you know, what I'm saying on TNT or yeah. ESPN. If you know, it's a lot of times when he go on commercial break, is a beat playing or whatever Facts. like that. So 
that definitely be dope, man. Hopefully you can get that shit again. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. I ain't gonna talk too much, no, man. But we definitely got some uh, some more work on the way. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? Me and the NBA. Oh yeah, for yeah. Sure. yeah for I'll sure. say that. I ain't gonna say nothing else. Oh yeah, man. Whenever that shit happen, man, come back through, man. Now, yeah, it's on the floor, <laughs> man. I'm telling you, I'm waiting myself. Wait Hell to see yeah. What's going on. Here, now, uh, for for your projects and stuff and the songs you've been dropping, dog. Do you make all the beats for you, or do you? Get beats like you said from Hell of or you sometimes mm-hmm. you reach out to other producers? Well, I was, I came up with the fact I was like I'm gonna just produce a solely mixtape that I produce myself and then I'm gonna do another one where I got a collaboration with other producers. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. when I do I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna yeah. have a mixtape full of other people or album full of other people's beats that I go off of and then I'm gonna have my own off everything I produce. Oh for sure, for sure, man. I uh, I mean, cause like, you the third nigga who been on here who actually do like production work on his own shit, dog. Yeah. Shout out to my nigga Wiz. Yeah. Uh, 808 uh, uh, Fuse. Yeah. Give me your top three producers, dog. In the city. Uh, it could be. It, or it just period. In, in the city or just period. Yeah. Oh man, uh, Zay Tobin. Yeah. Manny Fresh and uh, probably Ye. Yeah, hell yeah, that's a good list. Yeah. Niggas sleep on Zay Tobin, but one thing I know about Zay Tobin, I was asking people, I wonder is it like a a timetable as far as like when you get a beat. What you gotta do it before you sell it again? Yeah. Because I know it's a lot of times with Zaytoven beats, bro. It'd be something he had with a, somebody else, and then a years later, that's a fact. Somebody else got that bitch. That's a fact. He the one helped me lighten up on that man being so strict towards art because a lot of artists they be just sitting on the beat. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Or the song ain't really do that well, and the artist and went and did it. They they focus on other stuff, but that beat still that beat, and he know it's hot. You know, yeah, yeah. It, it get down to business with that. For sure. I, I definitely agree with you on the um on the main fresh shit, bro. Cause yeah. like. That was the first time I really got introduced to rap for real was the Hot Boys, and listening to Manny do every motherfucking beat. Man, like nigga, like he was a huge inspiration for me, man. I didn't even realize it until I started making beats and listening to him. Like damn, yeah, he was a big influence. And I hate, bro, that he was kind of like locked in with just Cash Money. Yeah, because he couldn't really do shit outside of that. Imagine him on a fucking Jay Z on the main first beat, like you know what I'm saying? Like imagine. Man, you or you know, cause you did see what he did as far as like he did some beats for Jeezy and Ti and shit. Yeah. But that was at the that was like later on down his career. Yeah. But like in his prime, if he could have been working with niggas, bro, like yeah. it would have been crazy. I didn't even think about that till just now when you said it. Yeah. that would have been crazy. Cause man. he was just working with niggas in Cash Money. That was Strictly. it. That was it, dog. Yeah. Damn. Nigga, and then you could tell the difference when niggas like with Turk. I always say this, dog. Turk album. Um, you could tell. I don't think he had many first beats, bro. Yeah, <laughs> or if yeah, he did, he had so. them because he <laughs> the throwaway. Yeah, he had the ones like you know, juvenile don't want this shit. Yeah, go ahead, yeah. He, he was the motherfucking hot boy Turk and shit. All throwaways. That's a fact. He had the throwaway boy. <laughs> now have you been? No, have you been seeing what Turk been talking about? No, nah, Vlad. No, nah, what's going on? What? Like niggas probably think I hate Turk because Turk clown one of my songs, but it's all good. Oh, but, man, that's crazy. <laughs> no, Turk mm. had said something. They was talking about on Vlad about the whole kissing shit with uh baby kissing oh, them when he was younger. Oh, okay. He said that every nigga play a gay game. And then he kind of left it in the open. I didn't tell you this shit, Q. He was talking about like how um he went to prison. Mm-hmm. He was talking about like how his girl held him down, and they was just fucking around with each other for three months prior to him going to jail. So he said that he cheated on his wife in prison. Wow. So then my man was like, he was like, I ain't gonna discuss who and how is in the book. So my man was like, it was with a woman, right? And he was like, it's in the book. So I left the door open to say like, nigga, was it a man or a woman? Right. And he got pissed off at Vlad like, dog, why you put? The title, the caption was like, uh, Turk sleeps, uh, 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 cheats on wife, don't don't know if it's with man or woman. Oh, wow, yeah. It's like, nigga, because you didn't say no when I said was it with a man. Exactly. So, nigga, you put your own foot in your mouth, nigga, like. Because yeah. it should have been a clear answer. It should have yeah. been a straight answer, but he left that window open to. Like, dog, no, it was with a bitch, but I'll let you know if it was with a CEO or if it was with a, a female I had come in, read right. the book. Right. But now you saying, like, I ain't going to say shit. Hey, motherfucking Craig might have, you know what I'm saying? Why Caught you he? on the top bump, nigga. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why he wouldn't say it with it. Hey, he asked for it. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah. And nigga, is it ever a time, bro, back mm-hmm. on the beat shit, you make a beat so good, you like, nigga, I ain't giving this shit to nobody. Oh, yeah, all the time. <laughs> and they and they hate me for it. Hell yeah. They hate me for it, bro. Because what, you would be mad like, damn, he, and, nigga, he did that beat. No justice, nigga. No justice. I, it happened so many times. And it's like, I don't, like the whole Zay told thing, I try not to read. Do something once it's already done. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, but I've let up on the restrictions a lot because these artists be on some bull crap. But heck, I be tucking beats all the time. It's me. <laughs> now, do you ever make a beat with somebody in mind? Like, uh huh. Yeah. I know this nigga like payroll for for example or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. I've done that. I've done that. And typically, man, it's so crazy because when I send the actual person a beat, a lot of times they don't rock with it. Yeah. It it'll be for somebody else or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Every now and then it'll be just for them. They'll go off of it. Mm-hmm. But you know. Hell yeah, dog. So with that shit, 
with, 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 with beats and shit and, and um you making beats mm. can you remember like the first time you made some money off a of beat though yeah yeah well, the well, first time i made some money off a of beat um i actually had to steal these fools information because they was cut <laughs> they was relatives with this dude i used to hoop with or whatever yeah. <laughs> i kept asking them like bro them dudes sound dope you know what i'm saying he's playing that music one time like they, they sound dope you can get that number he's he like, yeah, I'm going to get it for you because he told me that was his cousin. And I'm like, all right. So two, three months went past. He still ain't do it. Yeah. So when he was out hooping one day, I was coming out from getting something to drink out the crib. <laughs> yeah. The CD was laying right there. I didn't grab the CD, opened it up, looked at the cover, got the, the, the number. Yeah. And called dog them. And come to find out, he lived two blocks down. Damn. I didn't even know that. Dog. Hell no. So that, that was the first time I made my little I'm first 50. Oh, 50. That was the 50 ball right there? Ball, it bro. wasn't a thousand. You were yep. looking for though. It wasn't that thousand, bro. It was that 50 ball, man. Yeah, yeah. Is it, is it hard, though? Like, which one you you think is harder, though? Like, like getting your beats out there or, or your music out there, your rapping shit? The, the music. Music? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's hard to get the music out there. Beats, you can just put that on and they just, you know what I'm saying, nod. So you know how easy that is. But yeah. music is kind of harder. Cause they want to hear something that they're familiar with. Yeah. If you play something that they don't really know, it's like a 50-50 chance. Hell you know yeah, hell yeah. Cause niggas ain't gonna. I remember one it's time I get to my wife and shit. Though I played my song and she did me like how uh, Drake, Drake said, "Oh girl with Luda and Throw shit." Some like, on. Yeah. Hey, can you, uh, we listen to T.I. real quick? Like, man, I can't tell you how many times I got that treatment. <laughs> Hey, my son be in the background going crazy. Have me feeling good. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, like, on the phone and shit, like, damn, you gonna do your taxes and shit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Dave Chappelle, skid ass nigga, man. Go do your taxes right with my son playing. I'm talking about you on this motherfucker song. You feel me? Like, you trying shit. to turn it up a little bit so, like, maybe they ain't hearing me. <laughs> Hell, yeah, me that bitch. I'm so into you. Yeah. That motherfucker just that bitch, like, ain't paying no attention. Like, damn, man, I'm about to dish your ass this time. Oh, bad. Facts. Facts. <laughs> yeah, what, what, which one you prefer doing more, dog? Uh, making music on my own. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I really don't even make beats as often as I used to. Yeah. Not even close. Kind of chill a little bit. Yeah, I don't chill thought. I'm more of a on spot producer. Somebody want to work with me, then we yeah. can link up that at that moment. I make you what you need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as far as me just in the house cooking up, I already yeah. did that in a minute. Oh yeah. Hey man, I'm thinking back to what you just said. How you got them niggas numbers off the CD? Yeah. I remember calling Universal nigga. Cause remember the numbers used to be yes. on the CDs though yeah. for booking. You be that bitch like, yeah, I'm just trying to get my music heard. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it was tight. We nigga, had we had to try. Nigga, I was sending my music to Universal, nigga, uh, Island Def Jam, nigga, Cash Money, nigga. They probably looked at that shit and was rolling. Man, I remember I was in Cali. <laughs> I dropped my CD off at Capitol Records doorstep. No. I couldn't get in, so I just left it right there on the floor. I'm like, hopefully, <laughs> somebody. Hell yeah. For real, <laughs> dog. Hey. Hey man, I didn't put that bitch right there like that. No. Just left it there, <laughs> so right on the floor. Hey man, all your information on that motherfucker. Everything, dog. everything, yeah. socials, everything. Yeah. Now you mentioned California a couple of times, dog. You been, yeah. you go out there uh, a lot, or that was just like one time? It was just one time, man. I was out there doing stories. Somebody flew me and uh, Von Classics out there to do some music, so yeah. You know what I'm saying? While I was out there, I'm like, I'm gonna make the most of it. That's how I always think where I, when I go somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I know you said you took a gap. It was a time you felt like fuck music, dog. Like yeah. As of as of lately, have you had? Have had that feeling Or just been discouraged About something though No I'm more motivated Than ever right now yeah. I just had some bad seeds Man some bad apples around People doing bad business And stuff you know Like trying to suppress My talents and elevate theirs You know they want to get The beat from me But when it comes time To post it going World star BET My name ain't on the credits It ain't yeah. on no nowhere Yeah and they probably don't even like the song. They just like the beat. Yeah, but you sure. ain't even put my name. You feel me? So it was just like a lot of that just got. It, that's what discouraged me. Yeah. Now we was, we was talking about that shit at the first. other day too, bro. As far as like YouTube type beats, like mm -hmm. and how niggas a, a, a get that song, but then won't put the person name in that bitch as the production and Absolutely. shit like that. Though. Do you uh do you put beats on YouTube? Or you like no? Nah, you gotta hit me up, nigga. Man, I put like three or four out there, and I'm probably gonna do like four or five more, and I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna put no my beats out there because yeah. a lot of producers is coming through there listening to it as well as the artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm trying to protect my sound, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, dog. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I be man, I gotta start doing that shit. I be I don't give the niggas the credit, dog. When I be yeah. <laughs> stealing beats on YouTube, dog. Like, <laughs> yeah. cause my thing is, like I told niggas, dog. Mm -hmm. Nigga, at, at the time I couldn't afford to get no beat from niggas, cause niggas be taxing. Yeah, they be taxing. You know what I'm saying? Niggas they be taxing. taxing, bro. And my thing is, I feel like even like for a hell of a or anybody who's known in the city, like yeah. I think if you on the come up and you discuss a budget. Niggas shouldn't go crazy on you Like they'll do like for A nigga like Sala or some shit like yeah, that Like yeah. Nigga I can't get the money That he got Exactly Right, right now Exactly So you, know, you can't charge me that shit Cause guess what I ain't got it You know what I'm saying <laughs> And that's kind of how I operate I operate off the budget Of the person You know what yeah. I'm saying Cause I know everybody Ain't got it Hell yeah Hell yeah What's the most uh You made off a beat If you don't mind talking about it Uh probably 
I don't know. I'll probably say like one of the most ones that was a thousand. Oh, I real? actually got the thousand. Oh, you yeah. got the thousand? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna go no higher. I ain't gonna talk about that, but yeah, yeah, yeah I definitely yeah. hit the thousand mark. Hell yeah, dog. Now with that, when you make a beat, dog, like and a nigga do something with it, is it something that you can get paid for? As far as like how 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 big the song goes? What was or the question it, again? You if you sell, uh, you sell me a beat. Yeah. For say, I'll give you a thousand. You want, nigga? Yeah. But that motherfucking beat. That song just take off like crazy. Yeah. Is there some way you can get a percentage off of that? Or yeah, just absolutely. Like, okay. As long as you don't uh sell your publishing and all of that stuff, which of course you would be fooled to do that. Yeah. Then you good, yeah. Okay, so and yeah, I, you I'll still make world. Yeah, so you be looking for that shit, nigga, to blow up, dog. You feel me? Hell yeah. Need it, man. <laughs> Need it. Hell yeah. You ever thought about trying to make music for like for like TV shows or movies, even like if it's mm. beats or if it's songs, because you said the NBA, but a lot of times you can get them placements on movies to be exactly, big too. Exactly, exactly, man. It really hit me recently to start like zoning in on that. I didn't really zone in on that yet. Yeah. I kind of just was sending them stuff I already had, but like I really could go in there and make something specifically for every vibe. Hell yeah. And I haven't done that, and I'm about to. Hey, hit my nigga Thomas Harris though. Hey, I still want to be third number three in your movie, bro. Oh, that's my guy, man. Thomas, Thomas Harris. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he was out, him, man. Hell yeah, we go back too. Oh yeah, yeah. Hell yeah Them niggas dog They got the McGrath out Season 2 I can't wait for that shit To come on dog yeah. Hopefully they don't be Doing what they did last time When nigga be fat One scene And nigga lost weight In that scene man, Nigga what? had a fro <laughs> <laughs> Nigga one scene My man had a fro And that's when that nigga had Nigga tapering that bitch Like yeah. damn Shit was funny as hell yeah. That nigga uh, murder paint Left arm was broke Man and That's when nigga Right arm broke It's a lot going on It was a dope ass series though I ain't gonna yeah. lie That shit was hard dog Yeah my Shot. people Keep telling me about my, I'm gonna check it out I'm gonna check it out I actually don't watch Much TV and stuff like that My cousin They always be like Man you gotta watch Bro, you sleep, dog, man. You, yeah, you gotta I'm watch that shit. In. It's hard as hell, dog. When that uh, Corona first hit, and we was at the crib, man. I'm watching every motherfucking thing, dog. Facts. Hell yeah. So you feel like nigga, you getting enough mm -hmm. uh, support from the city as far as like what you doing, man? No. Shit, <laughs> he said that shit quick. No. Like, hell no. Dog. No, it's not enough at all, man. To have all the relationships that I built, yeah. I ain't burnt no bridges with nobody. I don't, you know, what I'm saying I really stay to myself and just work. Yeah. For me to be that type of person, you look at my father, man, everybody follow me. So yeah, it's yeah. like, no, I don't get the support I was supposed to get. No. Man, hell yeah, dog. And then sometimes, like I said, it go back to hating, bro. Yeah. I mean, the NBA posted me, bro, like the first independent artist from the city on the NBA on TV. Like, after the corona, they actually put my song back on the air and start playing it in the finals. Yeah. So I'm posting all that, and it's like, it just didn't get the response it should have got. Hell Even yeah. my family, like, it just wasn't the response. Yeah. Like, nigga, I'm on TV, bro. Yeah. Duh, that should be fucked up, bro. <laughs> that should be fucked up. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing, like, nobody. <laughs> Niggas still posting uh, fucking personal relationship issues Duh, on that shit. memes. Yeah. Memes, everything, but what I just posted, like, it's just. Duh, it's like that one thing, shit, dog. All these niggas done been posting that crate shit. I know you've seen the crate oh, shit. Oh, man. Yeah, that's going crazy right yeah, now. Yeah, dog. <laughs> niggas post that shit. But, nigga, I remember I was telling a nigga, dog, with a podcast. When I had Thomas Harris on, that, on this motherfucker. Yeah. And then I had uh, Doughboy Dre on here. Yeah, that's my guy. Talk to them. I had all these motherfucking other interviews mm. that nigga didn't give a fuck about. But as soon as I posted that shit, oh, my nigga doing big things. <laughs> but yeah. nigga out here, he out here. He out here now. That nigga working. Like, really? Nigga, I was working the other fucking 40 episodes. I was working, right. The other 40 episodes, I was yeah. working too. Nigga, double boy journey, bitch. Oh, my nigga working. My nigga, yeah, that's how I go though, man. Nigga. That's what's going to happen with me. It's going to be the same <laughs> thing, bro. And that literally happened once. I ain't going to lie. I was, uh, it was a few years back when I dropped my mixtape. Yeah. Hell of a had posted it. Now, mind you, I've been posting it for probably two years prior. <laughs> but when he posted it, Eric. My man, you doing your thing. Fire emojis everywhere. Like I'm like, bro, this the same yeah, CD, bro. Same shit. It's the same when I've been posting. Yeah. Like it was just crazy. Dog, I be thinking I got what seventeen hundred followers, bro. I can't. I'm like, nigga, you. I get the same thirty two likes in that bitch. Like the same thirty two, which I want from the gas station. Hell yeah. They be saying that what I mean. To the, to the thirty two people, always like, who y'all want? Hell yeah. Y'all yeah. need some. Hey man, shout out, shout y'all out, man. Y'all show niggas love, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Only time you can get a whole bunch of likes if you post your kids. Your wife That's gonna go crazy <laughs> yeah. I post my motherfucking baby I got 200 likes Like damn I ain't no 200 niggas Even see my shit yeah, You feel me And I've noticed that With people I don't know what it is man But it <laughs> seemed like The thing that you do The most on your page Get the least love Like you yeah. could post Something random A bottle of water And get like you said 400 likes No for real I like that water Hell yeah Man fam I'm about to start Posting my motherfucking daughter And then I'm gonna post A link to my motherfucking shit Bingo <laughs> Click the link nigga you Gotta be creative man Hell yeah you Might just do what it need to do Hell yeah dog For sure dog yeah. You ever thought about Moving away from this motherfucker Just to keep yeah. that Shit it's going crazy. a little bit more. It's crazy, man. We just was talking about that yesterday, me and my sister, man. Yeah, literally, just yesterday. And I, I don't think we ever really, I've never talked about moving like in serious. Like yeah. yesterday, yeah, it came up. 
Oh shit! Wait, if it was a place like just off the top of your head, that would be somewhere you you think you can you know what I'm saying move and vibe to. Man, just cause it's so much like here, and I've been wanting to go there. I feel like ATL. I want to yeah. see what ATL you know. Hell yeah, yeah. Somewhere in that vicinity, like. Atlanta. That's just like that's the Black Hollywood right there, dog. Yeah. Everybody down there making moves. I want to say, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Calico. You know Calico. Yeah. That nigga, he down there and shit. I, I want to okay. say, uh, I want to say, what's name went down there too? Uh. I want to say Rocky Bad might went down there. Like mm -hmm. a lot of motherfuckers be going down there just to do their thing, bro. Yeah. Like no, not Rocky Bad, uh, Cash Dog. Oh, okay, yeah. Like she down yeah. there, I nigga. Heard that too. You know I heard what I'm that. saying? So sometimes that move be needed, bro. Like yeah. And then a fresh nigga down there, they don't know putting out shit. Niggas be like, who the fuck is this? You feel me? And then with a resume like the one I got, man, it's gonna be like, what was they doing down there? Yeah. Come on, we need you over here. Hell yeah, cause like I said, a lot of niggas down there doing shit and, and showing love. That's the one thing about the South, bro. When I moved down there is. Them niggas show each other love, hella yeah, love. I noticed that. You know what I'm saying? Up, on it. up here, we just scared, bro. I don't want to post your shit. Cause I'm scared you gonna blow up, and vice versa. And like, vice versa. That's the thing. Like at the end of the day, nigga, you should be able to throw alley oops to niggas and not be worried about Bingo. that shit, bro. Bingo. And that's where my heart at right now. I done threw so many alley oops, man. My arms tired, bro. <laughs> I'm talking okay. people getting signed off of me working with them, and then it's like I don't hear from them no more. Yeah, man. And that's another thing, dog. I think All Star Jr. had said that shit, bro. He was like, dog, like. You and you on your come up, you didn't sit here and try to motherfucking build these relationships with these known rappers and yeah. shit, and they, they shitting on you. But yeah. as soon as you blow up, you fucking with the niggas who never even open up your motherfucking DM. Yeah. But you, those the first niggas you going to and you fucking with. Bingo. You know what I'm saying? I had niggas I grew up with, bro, and it was the popular crowd wasn't fucking with them. But as soon as they made a name for themselves, they, they with them niggas all the time. That's a fact. So I've seen that too. Yeah. So you gotta just remember the niggas who fuck with you from the from day one. Yeah. And a lot of people just like you said going to that DM. Okay, yeah, he finally responded. We about to link up. We friends now. Yeah, yeah. He was spinning you for four years, yeah. bro. Yeah. Four five years straight. Now y'all cool. All right. Yeah, yeah, like that's oh, that's he big bro now. He big bro. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, five years younger. Than you, that's big bro. <laughs> he five years younger than you, fair. But that's big bro. He unk. <laughs> that nigga unk. Cause he got a couple chains on and some money. That's Hell crazy. Yeah. Dog, niggas be doing that shit, bro. And speaking of like social media, bro, I think. The, my first time peeping you, dog, because I was yeah. on social media. I be looking for niggas. I work midnight, so I have a lot of downtime when I'm done. Absolutely. I think, was it either Detroit Rap News or it was, uh, damn, was it the other shit? Key, Key, Key Live? Live. It was Key somebody, Live. Yeah, if somebody had posted you saying, like, is this the highest rapper producer in the, in the oh, city? Oh, yeah, that was Hip Hop Lab. Hip Hop Lab. Hip Hop yep. Lab with, uh, yep. with, uh, was it in Orlando? Orlando, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when that shit happened, did you get a lot of uh, niggas reach out from that? Uh, I believe a little bit. I saw like a lot of followers, but ain't yeah. nobody. I feel like they more so just tuned in. They didn't really yeah. say nothing. They put fire like, yeah, he, he, he definitely yeah. that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it just wasn't like no big people. Not yeah. that it mattered, but no, it wasn't yeah. nothing like that. Because I mean, because soon as I seen that shit, that was what made me reach out. Because I listened. I'm like, damn, we on your page, seeing that you had a lot of music. Like, oh shit, nigga, kind of straight. Because yeah. I'm be trying to just have anybody come on the show. Like I actually like tune in and tap in and see if the niggas cause first I want to see they consistent I respect and that. then I want to see if shit if they dope I you know what I'm saying cause a lot of niggas would be wanting to get on the show and I look on their page they got four posts <laughs> yeah nigga a rapper girl? yeah like, how nigga yeah. <laughs> I thought that was sweet uh, back in the day like to just not have a bunch of clutter stuff but I mean you do need content on your page yeah, I got 600 one post on you know my shit nigga I mean, people want to see my that. ass off Bingo. one thing I do do I check to see if niggas unfollow me, bro. Yeah. I got that app. Yeah. <laughs> like, damn, why he unfollow me? Bro? Why? I'm about to unfollow yeah. your ass, nigga. Fuck you, That's nigga. a fact, man. People be hurt, man. They be hurt. Hell yeah. They be like, hurt, bro. Nigga, like, how you gonna follow? But think about you follow me. Mm. I follow you back, then you unfollow me. Like, all right, That's nigga. cheesy, bro. I don't like when people do that. They do that a lot. That follow for unfollow, that's childish, bro. We yeah. passed that. Yeah, so now I got, I'll be having that alert. Like, all right, bet. Yeah. I'm good. They're gonna be sick when you really start, like, I mean, and then sometimes maybe because they look at your fathers, like, okay, this yeah. person right here. But they don't understand how fast that can change. Hell bro. yeah, because like me and you was a shit. I got 1700, you got what 19,000. Yeah, so nigga, like that's like if I would reach out to you and you looked at my shit, like nigga, you ain't got enough. Never, like I'm cool. See, that would have been stupid. That would have been dumb on my part if I did that because I already know how this work. I seen Dave's Loaf and Pablo and a lot of other people like go from nothing to like, yeah, yeah, um, in a heartbeat, nigga, like for real. Quick. It just take that. that it just take that right moment, dog. That's it. Like I said, that right moment for that niggas to recognize you and shit. That's and it. it's fucked up a lot of times with this podcast shit. Niggas won't recognize your shit unless you got a big ass name on your Bingo. shit. Yeah. But I'm talking to you. This would be a dope ass interview, but niggas don't even know. They don't even know. Yeah. This like, interview, like, say I take off. Yeah. They gonna watch this interview. That's gonna take off. You gonna take off. Yep, exactly. It's a domino effect. Yeah. Bro. End of the day, you need that. You need those too, bro. Yeah. And like I said, a lot of niggas get mad. I Man, I've been asking to be on the show for months. Like, I know, bro. You ain't did nothing in months. Nigga. Like, <laughs> so like, I've been watching you. Ain't yeah. did nothing. And at the end of the day, I have
I'm, I can't just Oh yeah Just cause nigga I got motherfucking uh, Ronald the motherfucking Plumber and shit He wanna come <laughs> in his bitch And promote his plumbing stuff. Yeah yeah Like that's yeah. cool and all And I would do it I would never be opposed to that right. But if you're not Doing nothing Advertising yourself Why would I wanna advertise you Bingo And I learned that too About myself I'm like man I gotta get active bro I can't be out here Feeling no kind of way And I ain't doing that Yeah You know Cause I actually heard It was a couple situations Where some labels Was watching me But they was like Waiting to see what I do next Yeah And I didn't do nothing next And now they yeah. probably Not even watching me no more yeah, I think yeah. hell of a post Would be a year And somebody hit me up and was like, yo, such and such watching you now. Like, I'm like, damn, for real. Yeah. Yep. Hell yeah, dog, and for sure. Was, shit, and that's it. why I got two separate pages. I got my personal page and I got my my podcast page. And shit. Yeah. This why I won't be mixing the two up and niggas back then. And this is shit or his personal. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, it be like that, dog. And niggas be niggas be on some sucker shit, bro. Oh I, yeah. I had niggas on the show time. like, oh, come get you on my shit. Mm. Like. Hey, what's up, man? Like, Come on, what's up with it? Your shit blowing up, cuz. Like, <laughs> but that's cuz, again, niggas be chasing on names. My name ain't big enough, but mm -hmm. niggas will be knowing that the niggas they have on the show be, it be kind of trash. Yeah. Cuz niggas don't want to really put themselves out there for real. That's a fact. Niggas be too scared, dog. That's a fact. Like, I'll tell you last time I cried, nigga, off a movie, nigga. True. Like, yeah, nigga, yeah. Boo hoo, that bitch, nigga. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> it all made for great content, anyways. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Keep it real, shit. No, for know? sure. So, with you, dog, do you ever look at it? Like, I got an age cap before, you know what I'm saying? If shit don't take off, I'm done. Or you don't even, like, put yourself in that situation and even think like man, that. Man, I already passed the cap, man. Yeah. I already passed. I said, when I said I was going to quit, that's when that whole NBA post thing happened, yeah. bro. Like, right when I said I was going to quit, it was that same year. Hell yeah. So. He was like, shit, fuck, let me keep this shit going. Yeah, I got to. Yeah, man. Got to. What's the, uh, what's some shit, you being a producer and you being a rapper, man, mm -hmm. what's some shit that you, you hate that you got to deal with, but you got to deal with it? The like, people. Yeah, the people. yeah, hell yeah, yeah. No, them. That's a fact. The, the, them, man. I mean, cause it's it's you come. It comes with so many different type of personalities, man. And a lot of the unprofessional personalities that be the ones that really grind my gears and make me yeah. just be like, damn, I gotta do this. Hell yeah, hell yeah. No, people will fuck it all up, dog. Man, yeah. yeah I'm talking about man. They yeah. Man, they dog. make it tough. Hell yeah, dog. Now some we just talking about you some about like producers in the city, like. Mm -hmm. Who are some niggas you want to work with from the city as far as like producer wise or like rapper wise or whatever? Uh, or if it's anybody at all. If there's anybody I want to work with from the city. Or maybe somebody on the upper cup, cup come up that we might not even, you know, say no shit about. A lot of people really ain't on my radar. I kind of just really dove off into my own little, you know what I'm saying, hookup. So I don't really even know what's going on out here in the city, to be yeah. honest with you. You know what Hell I'm saying? Yeah. Of course, I do want to work with Helly, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shit. And you know what I'm saying? We've been talking about doing some stuff. I wanna go ahead and do that just that's just on my bucket list. Just, yeah, for sure. Why not? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dog. That shit dope as hell, dog. Now I always ask niggas this, dog. You 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 at watch making a band coming up? Uh yeah, hell yeah. Walking making and get a band the band was hilarious. Yeah, walking get the cheesecake, motherfucking yeah. Nets getting beat down by friends and shit. Yeah, dog. I'm like, damn, this might be my future. I'm looking at that, I'm like, oh, I might have to go get some cheesecake. <laughs> Hey, to go niggas, be, niggas be sleeping hot. Uh, I who was your favorite one on that bitch, dog? Man, I think it was Chopper, man. Yeah, Chopper was my nigga, dog. Yeah, yeah, Chopper was, was my dude. nigga. But Chopper hold me on um on Twitter, dog. Man, Chopper, <laughs> I think he hold me too on the gram or something, dog. I reached out and DM and I ain't reached back. And this no. was after he wasn't even but really doing it. Yeah, yeah, nigga, you was just on that bitch, just chilling. No, yeah. nigga, I was, I was doing my music, dog. I sent uh -huh. that bitch on Twitter to Chopper, dog. Yeah, I tagged him. That nigga made a post right afterwards, like niggas be sending me music like I'm like I got a label. <laughs> so I, I hit him back like nigga. I was just doing that shit to get my song out. Nigga, I ain't trying to get signed to Chopper. You could have just retweeted it, bro. Yeah, that nigga hold me real quick. Like man, fuck. I, at that, I was mad because Chopper was my nigga. Yeah. So I didn't want to say fuck Chopper, but I'm like man, fuck Chopper. Man, that's that's messed up, bro. Well, I'm sick that him. happened, man. I think I had an incident <laughs> like that with uh, Lex Luger. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I used to rock with his beats too. I uh, commented under my song under his post. And I was like, I'm next up. And then he mentioned me back and was like, no, you're not. Damn. <laughs> he was bitter. This is when he was getting bashed by the whole industry for like, yeah. like you know what I'm saying? I, I think he was tripping and stuff. And he started beefing with another producer that he came up with. I think it was 808 Mafia. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was just mad as hell, bro. And yeah. I don't know why I commented on that man page with my little link. Because he, yeah. he was mad. He was firing at everybody. <laughs> he was firing at everybody, bro. And I was no exception. <laughs> That's why sometimes I say it's good not to meet. The niggas that you look up to. I told my people that I'm like, I don't even want to meet them boys, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna just leave it nice and clean how it is now. Nah. Yeah. No problem. Cause yeah. I might hate him. Man, for real, man. That's why I say rest in peace, Kobe, but I'm like, I don't know if I wanna meet Kobe. He might hold me and man, shit, dog. What? I love Kobe, dog. Like that's nigga. Happened to T Pain, man, uh with Usher. Yeah, hell yeah, dog. You meet that nigga that you Damn, I fuck with you. I mean, nigga, fuck out my face. Yeah. Like, damn. That last album was trash. Hell yeah, like, like damn, bro, you would do me like that. <laughs> 
<laughs> you and that bitch hurt like dog. I really love you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm gonna just go ahead and avoid them guys, man. Hell yeah, but yeah, Chopper fuck me up, dog. Yeah. Chopper and Turk, them two niggas that fuck me up, dog. They mad, man. They better. Yeah, not not Turk playing gay games and Chopper. I don't know where that nigga. At. Yeah, me either. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now to get back on that shit, mm. making a band, dog. Yeah. You got a band. Mm. One album project is you and four other niggas. Mm. Who would it be, females or niggas? And yo, one album band. Uh. Oh man, that's gonna be tough. Let me say, uh, I'm gonna get Ella May on there. Oh shit, she bad as hell. Damn, she uh, died. Her. <laughs> Damn, she you got two of them. That's yeah. it. Man. You, 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 oh, you trying to be album or tape, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> Drake, Drake, little baby. Okay, uh, that's it. That's it. That's four. Yeah, you five. Okay, yeah, bad. Now, now get, now throw a producer out there. You you wanted to produce the whole thing. The you producer? or somebody else. I'm a producer and uh who else man? Whoever be making um her and LMA be they go crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure and I, um you said one producer, right? Yeah, if you wanna just outside of you, if you you helping but you got another person with you and shit. Damn bro. I'm trying to think who even producing like oh yeah, uh I might you DJ Khaled probably. Yeah, he gonna blow that shit up for yeah, sure. DJ Khaled. <laughs> Hell yeah. Damn you came out the gate with two Vicious, LMA and her like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's gonna be, be crazy. That's huh, you said LMA. Her, her, Drake, and Lil Baby. Oh, I, at first, I thought you might have a little light skin group of shit, but the, <laughs> <laughs> but the light skin, yeah, the light skin, is shit is, yes. is motherfucking dog. That'd be a dope ass shit, dog. Mm -hmm. All right, nigga, you got what's name? A top five rappers that you that you fuck with, like your personal top five, not the mm -hmm. generic Tupac, Biggie. You know what I'm saying? The top five that you you rock with outside of the, the the you know most common ones. Uh, yeah, like I said, back Wayne, Kanye, J Cole, mm -hmm. Drake. And, uh, damn, it's hard to put that fifth one out there, man. Damn, I'm missing one, dog. I'm missing somebody, bro. Yeah. I know I am. That's why I like that, doing yeah. the names. There's Kend so many people. Kendrick, dog. Kendrick, you fuck with yeah. I don't like, like when you see you look at me like that. He don't fuck with Kendrick. I put J. <laughs> I, I like J. Cole style more yeah. than the. I kind of put him in, in the same boat, but I kind of lean more towards J. Cole because I yeah. relate to the storytelling and the yeah. way it's broke down better. Damn. Yeah. yeah. You looked at me like Kendrick, nigga. I, don't, I ain't forget. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I ain't, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, cause I don't really know. I can't. I don't listen to a lot of his music. I probably yeah. do need to. Yeah. You don't fuck with Kendrick, though, do you? I fuck with Kendrick, though. Like yeah. that motherfucking Good Kid, Mad City, and that uh, no, to Pimp a Butterfly mm -hmm. is the hardest one he had to me. Yeah, niggas didn't like it because that's because you gotta go. Like, sometimes it'd be a song that's five minutes long, the first minute it'd be like some wild shit, then yeah. get to the song. Yeah, like, nigga, he had this one song called These Walls Could Talk, right. basically talking about the girl pussy and shit. Uh -huh. That shit hard, nigga. Like, damn, see, I never went deep enough into his catalog. I like that, uh, the drink song that he did. That, oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that was yeah, fire, yeah. I, but I never went really past <laughs> that. And <laughs> they so. looked at me like, nigga, I ain't forget, cuz, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I man. did that purposely, nigga. Yeah, facts. Hell, no, what's some, uh, if you had like some short and some long term goals for yourself, bro, what is it? Short term goals. Damn, um, it's probably just go ahead and get this music thing off the ground, man, and finally pop off like how I know I was supposed to. That's like the short term because I'm already already right there. I'm already here. For sure. So that'd be the short term. Long term, man. Well established, multiple platinum records, hopefully some diamond ones or, or at least one. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and on my own studio, man. Cause yeah, for sure. You know, I'm I'm definitely once I'm done with what I'm doing, I'm A and R label, you know what I'm saying, yeah, scouting yeah. talent. Hell yeah, yeah. you ain't gonna stop. Yeah, and shout out to Royce. He got uh, with Heaven Studio and shit, dog. Mm -hmm. Shit hard, dog. Yeah. Last question before we get to towards the end. My question, dog. Mm -hmm. Last time you cried, <laughs> like, like two days ago. Oh shit, what was it, nigga? Like, like man, I'm really about to. This really about to happen. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Like, I was it. listening to my music and I'm just listening to all the songs and, and what order they gonna come. I'm like, bro, this ain't really about to. When it when it goes, it's about to go. Yeah. See, you real nigga playing that shit. Cause niggas be that bitch like, nigga, I ain't cry, never cry, nigga. I'm too tough, nigga. That's two days ago, bro. Hell yeah, last nigga, last time I got good crying was a good one. Yeah. Good one. Good one. I was mad, nigga. That, <laughs> that Kobe shit, bro. Like, when Kobe passed away, I was mad because my son called me crying. Yeah. My I son was 14. Fake. Nigga, like, I'm like, nigga, get your ass out of here, cuz. Man, I woke up and saw the little picture on my phone. It looked like it was fake. I'm like, dog, this ain't happening. This, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm like, man, why would they even play like that? Hell yeah. That shit had TMZ on the top. I'm like, damn. Hell yeah. You know when TMZ is them. Yeah. They only got one wrong. That was Lil Wayne. Right. I mean, I, we was here, nigga, when we thought Lil Wayne died, nigga. Yeah. I mean, that bitch like, damn. Yeah, that would be crazy. I just got a little motherfucking worry and shit like, cause that Wayne, nigga. Yeah, that was. Now we got this one shit, dog, called Top Three, man. I give you a category. Give me your top three. Okay. Give me your top three childhood crushes. Childhood crushes. It was, um, damn. What's her name? I forgot her name. Megan Good. Oh yeah, for sure. Nia Long. I think you me. <laughs> Nia Long. Who was the third one, bro? I ain't really like too many. I don't know. It was Megan Good, Neil Long, and 
down, bro. No new. No, oh, yeah, hell yeah. You got that's a good ass solid list, nigga. Yeah. Like solid, solid. Cause my shit was my shit was Jay Pickett, nigga. Like when yeah. she was younger, like Jason's lyric. Oh yeah, I forgot like, she was fired. Me along and making good, but then I got playing what's him as my white chick, dog Topanga. Yeah, my boy means she was bad, bro. Damn, <laughs> you ain't lying. Hell yeah. All right, give me your top three, uh, top three foods. Oh, that's uh, nachos, yeah. pizza. I like, I like I like Alfredo too oh, shit, We cousin nigga shit. Yeah yeah you <laughs> yeah, shit. Nachos up top Nigga though. no Alfredo so, Nigga has chicken and shrimp Alfredo dog Yeah man shit, nigga, Every time crazy. With a little Cajun season On the top Man hell yeah crazy. Make sure you got some Garlic bread on the side I'm nigga. trying to hey, Sleep I'm <laughs> sleep <laughs> after this one. Hell yeah, yeah hell We wonder. go crazy on the little Nachos though dog Oh man Come on man, man. You gotta get freaky with them Hell yeah, yeah. Give, me, give me your top three Uh, mm. Your top three movies Top three movies Friday Yeah um, Fast and the Furious The series Cause it's about Yeah <laughs> yeah yeah Like the first ones though yeah, Like yeah, the cup yeah, yeah. And um Damn I said Friday that one What's another one I think Don't Be a Menace Oh yeah With yeah. uh, Sean and Marlon Oh yeah <laughs> South dog. Central yeah, That shit funny as hell dog Yeah Shit give me Give me your top three Uh, Give me your top three Most influential people Not to do with music But just your wife in general Um I would say Kanye Yeah he just real outspoken, man. Just real, like, just determined. He determined. So, him. Yeah. Uh, damn, influential people. Yeah, it could be people. It could be people at the crib. My OG for sure. Yeah. Then. Oh, yeah, for sure. And my granddad, probably number, top number one. Hell yeah. The way he handled business, man. The way he had the whole family, to have a whole family structure the way he did, bro. Yeah, oh, so I he never was seen that guy. Like he, he still around? No, nah, he passed. Oh, shit, rest in peace, dog. So, he, was he that dude, that, that dude that you, was he like the father type for you for real? Man, I was so young, man. Like, I still remember him. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He passed while I was a real young age. Stuff oh, yeah. I was probably like 12. Yeah, yeah, But I knew for a fact, I'm like, I wish I was this age and he was still yeah. here. Oh, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Because I would have took him, man. I would have been a different type of, you oh, know no, what I'm saying? for sure. But yeah, sure. he was that, he was that, for sure. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Give me your uh, your top three moments in life, dog. Some shit that you didn't did and accomplish that you like, oh, shit, this, 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 this was the shit. Top three. Damn, what was the first one, man? Uh... The top three, I think, I want to produce for somebody and that junk got to like summer jams, and I I end up getting a summer jam and everything free. So oh, that shit. was that was like my first little that was an inspirational moment. Hell yeah. The NBA, that was like a huge one. Oh yeah, that for NBA sure. post, and then I ended up making it on 2K, NBA 2K too. Oh shit, for straight up, yep. damn. Which one? The new one, 21. Oh shit. Next gen. Oh shit, hell yeah, that's dope as hell. Yep. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Last one, nigga. Uh, last last one, top three TV shows. Uh, what's the one? The Wayans Brothers, Martin. This thing is my cousin, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> You're probably living single, man. Oh, yeah. I would have threw Family Matters in there, but I mean, it's a tight fight. Yeah. You said top Hold three, on. This nigga said that Wayne Brothers is trash, dog. What? Dog. Hey, man. Hell Ooh. yeah. Hell fools. yeah, dog. Now, we always end it off, dog. <laughs> super I forgot to tell you it's off camera, because I usually mention off camera, though. Yeah. We always end everything off with a, t um, with a high moment or a drum moment yeah. or both. It's a story when you was fucked up off one of, one of them or both of them. Man, I'll never forget. It was some Bacardi. It was a bad, but it was a Bacardi. <laughs> I ain't had none since, bro. <laughs> I don't know who bought it or how I got there, but I drank a little too much of it, bro. And I had a bad breakup at the time. So yeah. at the time, I didn't know what I was, you know what I'm saying, was going on. I just woke <laughs> up the next day and saw all the messages I sent to this woman, bro. I was so mad at myself. Duh. I literally wasn't writing her for weeks. Yeah, you got that drinking you got. But I woke up and I'm like, I was like, really writing this lady. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, well, that was What was you saying, though, the messages? Like, like just on some like damn it's like that like man you 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 weak as hell like man we we put in all this time and you live with me i can't stand you i'm just you venting you know what i'm saying so, the more you ain't getting the message back you gonna have harder because exactly. harder, in reality sober i didn't care yeah me drinking somehow that bacardi just took me all, it took, and drink, i had a hangover it's terrible yeah that drink get the get the best out of you you like yeah. all the feelings you thought about nigga i'm a poor bitch you ain't shit so not only did I, I see you. the messages, but I got this dog ass hangover with it. So <laughs> yeah, 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 that was the worst moment ever. Dog, we about to end this shit, but real quick, we was talking about some random shit because it's funny you said that you had sent her some stuff in his junk because you was pissed off, yeah. dog. We had said like, nigga, if you was married to a chick, dog, mm -hmm. <laughs> if you was married to a chick, bro, yeah. and you know she, she passed away. God forbid she yeah. passed away. Yeah. And you know you go on her Facebook page just to go ahead and let everybody know, hey man. Keisha passed away, y'all. Okay. Uh, just to let y'all know, Memorial Service is gonna mm -hmm. be Saturday and shit. Mm -hmm. But then you like, what, what's in them DMs? <laughs> and you see that she had folk with all type of dudes. Oh man! <laughs> how you grieving, dog? Like, how am I gonna grieve you... after that? <laughs> this liar and cheater has passed <laughs> away. <laughs> I thought we was. I thought it was love, but 
<laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be petty. I'm gonna be petty a little Dude, bit. Just a go. little bit. It's gonna be real brief. One Dude. paragraph. <laughs> And I'm gonna end it nicely. Yeah, yeah, like rest in peace. You <laughs> Duh, I, I'll be hurt like. Rest easy. Yeah, I'll be hurt like, damn, motherfucker. Yeah, that's me. I'm being petty. Yeah, hell yeah, dog. Yeah, but yeah, man. Where can they find you, dog, on social media, bro? At the Amazing Official on everything. D A M A Z I N Official on yeah, everything. And you said you got uh, more music about to come out? Absolutely, man. I'm working on a project. Like I said, I'm rolling out singles and stuff like that, but I'm a, I'm definitely putting, a, I'm halfway or a little bit more halfway done with my whole oh, yeah. project. Hey, man, make sure y'all show my man some love. Like I said, that Mirror song, that joint was hard. I appreciate that, bro. The last shit you just put out, I forgot the name of it, but you just put out like two weeks ago a video for it. Uh, It's called Half Something. Yeah, yeah. Half Something. That shit hard, dog. So shit, just keep working, man. Fuck if niggas don't post it. That's just a keep fact. working and shit. You got anything you want to leave people off with some last words like don't drink and drive or don't drink yeah, a man. DM I was going to say <laughs> stay hydrated man don't drink and drive stay hydrated stay out the way man just get focused lock in man you oh, know yeah. what I'm saying and don't be worried about what people think and say so once you acting funny you switched <laughs> up man you elevating bro and that yeah. requires separation you need time to work oh hell yeah for sure damn I don't want to say nothing after that yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah you do got to separate sometimes sometimes it's, it's hard you got to kick niggas to the curve who yeah. you fuck with but they kind of like shit bring you down yeah man you, know you go saying? on Facebook man People acting Hollywood, acting flame ass on the phone. Like the whole time you was in your office for yeah. the whole day locking in. Yeah, for sure. Are you, you with your saying? family? Are you, you, you working? You like, get what I mean? Yeah. Like, so. Sometimes when you niggas get, grow up and shit, niggas, just, it just happens. Yeah. Grow up. Ain't no love lost, nigga. Just. They grow up. Shit, I'm, I ain't that same nigga. Yeah, they you grow up. You know what I'm saying? Up. But shit, I ended up like that, man. Shit. My mm -hmm. nigga Demazing, dog. I appreciate God. you, dog. Yes, sir. Episode 81, man. Shout out to everybody. Yeah.